guys. So today um, I don't have an ER due, but uh, I wanted to make a video for a different reason. Over the past few days, I have been exchanging emails with a, another YouTube user named uh, Ator. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and he was asking me about the processing serial library in the beginning. And then his other email was saying that he found a library called Control P5. And he was wondering if it does the same thing as the serial library. Personally, I never heard of Control P5. But uh, after doing a bit of reading and looking around, I realized that it does have to do with the processing serial, but it's, it does a different job than the actual serial library. Uh, the difference being... Control P5 allows the user to manipulate and interact the processing setting through the processing's serial or output by a digital button, a slider, or a, a dial, um, as opposed to the serial library, which acts as a kind of connector to processing between processing and another microcontroller or to another computer itself. So in short, uh, Control P5 library helps you interact with processing only through processing serial as opposed to the serial library which helps processing interact to an external source. Um, I'll show you a quick example uh, first off, this is where I read up most about the Control P5. Um, it's a great website. I'll link it in the description. Um, see, this is this is an example of the interaction with processing serial, and also it has great examples here. So I thought I would download this and um, give you a quick demonstration. So if we look over here, this is the uh, control P5 demo, as I call it, and this is, I think, the first download on that website's page. So what this does is it makes a slider which varies a graph in the processing output. So you can see in the top it's importing control P5, so that's what we're using. Uh, if I run this, This is the window you get. So you have a little uh, sine wave and a box with a smaller box in it. If you were to click on the box and drag it, you can manipulate the wave by the directions. So this is what Control P5 does. It allows the user to move and manipulate the data. Um, if you look at my personal older project, where we import the processing serial library. Um, what this does is, in this case, we're graphing the data that we're reading from a thermistor or an LM35DZ temperature sensor. And this processing serial lets us read the value on that LM35DZ temperature sensor through the Arduino. So, like I said before, it acts as a connector. Um, I will link the this website uh, about the Control P5 in the description, as well as a little short serial paragraph from the actual processing website about what the serial library does. Um, if you're if you guys are unable or uh, you don't you don't know exactly how to import a library to processing, I had a bit of a challenge with that. I also made a video about how to import a new library, so if you download this Control P5 from the zip here, if you watch my video, uh, there's I made one that will help you import that. So I hope this answered your question, uh, Ator, and if anyone else has questions, I'd love to answer those, uh, and I look forward to exchanging emails in the future. All right. Thanks, hope this helps.